This is Delta Spanic once again for Hentai Games. Today we're going to talk about Trails of Cold Steel 3. This is the third iteration of the Trails of Cold Steel games. Uh, it's set about one to two years after the actions that happened at the end of Trails of Cold Steel 2. If you've not played Trails of Cold Steel 2, you don't necessarily need to. There's lots of interesting aspects of this game that we'll talk about what happens when you are not aware of the overall lore. But again, sure. this is part of the Legend of Heroes game series. There's lots of games to that, including Trails into the Sky, right. Trails from Zero, Trails of Azure, the Trails of Cold Steel series 1 and 2, and escape. of course, Fire! 4, and Trails Wait of Reverie uh, comes mine. out in the United States this year, uh, I believe June or July of 2023. I have to double check that. Uh, but again, lots of games, lots of games in this overall series. You need to play all of them to really understand what's going on? Not especially. Each, each general game is kind of a standalone thing, even 3, which Having played 1 and 2 helps you understand what's so very important about the old Class 7 and the new Class 7. Not necessary to really go and play without it. There are, of course, aspects of this game that are uh, not known to people who were not in Japan because there was a visual novel that happened in between this game and 2. While 1 and 2 allowed you to... Well, 1 allowed you to bring over your save file information into 2, your save file information from 2 does not go into 3 because uh, 1 and 2 were originally PS3 games and 3 ended up being a PS4 game. It's now also available on Switch and I believe PC, but I'm not entirely certain on that one. This is a basic turn-based RPG. It's got some overall fun factors to it and it's an overall easy game. This right here is the prologue section of the game, so if you are here for the, for the walkthrough portion of the game, uh, you don't have to worry about this part, like at all. In any way, shape, or form. Uh, it's very hard to lose in this section of the game, it's even on hard mode. Uh, this is pretty simple portion of the game. You, uh, much like in Trails of Cold Steel 1, it's you are mine. set a couple months into the future of your total playthrough of the game, and you are playing through as if you would be in that portion of the game. Usually level 30 to 40, and uh, you're just gonna go through this real fast. There's nothing here to really worry about. The enemies here are simple. I don't know if you have to go and use your battle scope for any of these enemies. I have to double check myself on these things. I got this. But generally, do what you would normally do You're in most mine. trail, uh, most tales, excuse me, most trails games. It's my turn. Again, tales games are not trails games. Trails games are, are not tales yeah. games. It's easy to forget Let's that. Go. It's easy to mix those up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and skip ahead to your yeah. main boss yeah. section because this area is not yeah. really not up at this time. Watch out! This is a tough one. This is your first time facing a mini boss if you've never done one before. Uh, don't waste all of your resources on these bosses. It's not necessary to go and do. If you pretty much played through the game in the prologue section, you understand basically how crafts and arcs work. Uh, each and every player's characters are kind of different. You're mine. Your two fr front lane characters are of course yeah. more tanky, harder hitters. Um, I don't know how the, how the AI or the whatever built these two, but they're not optimized in any way, shape, Here or form. There are better ways to go and, and build these two in the game, and we will go over uh, uh, more or less character building creations later on. At this point in the game, though, um, as as it is a prologue, you are, did not really create these characters. You just just kind of kind of play through. Um, use your battle scope to figure out what is weak to these characters as soon as you can. Usually with with music. Muse will use the battle scope or whatever she needs to go and use, and you can see that they are weak to water type in the overall thing, so go ahead and just do that. Very well. You figured out how breaking characters work, so you should do that as soon as you can using crafts. And use Muse's arts to go and deal as much damage as you can to a general area. Um, that's kind of more or less it. Like, th th these two are not hard. My I would suggest, this. if you can, you can use Brave Bring Orders Santa. right now, even though you won't be able to during the other portion of the this. prologue. You're and, uh, mine. might as well do that now so you can more easily break characters, make your life a little bit easier. And, again, use Muse's arts. Huh? She, she, she will be your mage for this overall section. You decided to swap her out with, uh, Altina. She is also a mage type, so it, it's pretty much the same thing regardless of who you choose there. It doesn't really matter too much. Um, use your brave orders, sure. use your attacks. It's just try not to use up all of your, yeah. your brave orders or your, your special in the top right hand corner if you can. Um, try and keep that number around three to four. 
you want to have that number high for the next section. It's this is mine. only the mini boss. Right after this, you have the main boss. No. Show me Just when you thought you were done, here we are in the next section. This? Again, try not to use all your resources and earn that first. <laughs> boss battle, right here you can see I have up to five in my top, top right hand corner. <laughs> try not to use all of that either. Right. Um, these two characters can enhance Where's themselves when they reach a certain Where's point. Ever? You want to focus on one character and one character alone to it's go and turn. wail on to begin with. Uh, once you drop her total HP down to a certain level, my turn. the boss battle is pretty much done. I believe it's like 25% or something like that. Maybe, maybe a little more. It's my turn. But there, there is a little line where you need to go and drop them into a, a general area. Once you've done that, it's pretty much easy for you. Again, I need to heal my people here, and Thanks. Thanks. you say it works fine as a healer. Got she's got a healing uh, craft, which is really great. You're mine. Just, just, just walk through this right here. This is not too, too, too difficult. Once you get them down to a certain <coughs> amount of health, though, after a certain amount of time <laughs> goes by, you do end up My having turn. to deal with them when they are enhanced. And I'll show you what to do with, with enhanced characters in a second here. Uh, ha! Let's go! The true battle begins now! Gaze into the evil so you get them down to a certain amount of health, uh, both of them, I, I believe, will begin enhancing. If not, one of them will begin enhancing themselves immediately. When this happens, they are, their attacks are much stronger. They attack much more often, and they, be they become increasingly difficult to go and deal with. Um, if you don't Let's have a, a lot of characters Evan attacking Crest. all at once, I suggest using Altina's Ebon Crest it's to instantly turn. give you a, a, a reflective barrier. And begin just kind of swinging for them until you, you break their... Well, until you, you break them. Once yes. you, you've broken them, um, their, their, their defenses. The enhancement will immediately come off and you can hit them for as hard as you need to. Uh, again, why did I use Altina's Ebon Crest? Because right here, all of the attacks that just hit the entire group right there, a big mega swing attack, reflect back on her. It's no issue. Turn. No problem. No no big oopsie. And I was like, uh, yeah, that's kind Don't of it. And like once you are at this point, just swing for, for the fences is really all you can do. Let's go. It's mine. Again, just using as much as you can. Sure. Cause as much damage as you can. Try again. You you want to try and kill one character as fast as possible. Um, hey you. But with both of them being enhanced, I'm just Rest trying to get, if not one, then both of them, down. Once you've knocked them down to a certain point, in health, the the battle ends and you're done. Uh, there's a lot of talking <laughs> after this. I believe like a good Indeed. hour or so. Quite a bite uh, to them. Trails is a very story intensive game. The story is great, you'll you'll come to love it, but again, it's it will take a long time for you to go and walk through all of this. There's the hell are you a lot of talking before you get to the actual gameplay. Chapter 1 is also a lot of talking before you get to a lot of, of the gameplay as it has to go explain things to you as you go. Chapter 2 is a lot more freewheeling yeah, as is Chapter early. 3. So and as the game progresses, you get a lot more free free time, a lot more free will. So don't, don't feel too bad on these the things. The entrance is right over there. That was a lot Let's of exposition as as we're ready. right there. So, welcome yes, to where the game actually begins. Just this actually like matters, so try and pay attention and make sure you grab every single treasure chest you can in this area. Fight every every single monster you see. Don't skip things. You're gonna need the uh, septium, whatever bits, all the different elements you're gonna need to go and increase your Arcus two units. So make sure you go and battle everything. None of the battles here are especially difficult. Even the mini boss isn't especially difficult. Everything here gives you good idea as to how to go and handle it. Just follow the, the tutorials that come out as you start each and every battle with a new type of, of enemy. Go through, check every single area, and don't miss any of the treasure chests. It's really the best thing we can do here. I'm going to skip ahead to the main boss battle where you can actually die and, and fail, which is kind of funny in a, in a prologue, dying and failing. So uh, let's go ahead and let's start on that. Just beyond there are the doors leading to your destination. To get through the Be quick majority of the area it. in Einhal in the tower. Understood. Uh, you're going to end up target point. in a little area that has a orbment rest station. This is how it will always be whenever you go through the tower. There will always be an orbment rest station before you reach a main boss. In fact, that nearly happens in nearly every single boss battle in the game. So there should be no complaints about not having full health or full whatever when you take on the bosses here because they will be readily available before any major boss battle outside of a few 
uh, bosses. I thought of, I thought of a few bosses that are more or less. Um, well, they're 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 bosses you see in the field. They're not in a specific area or dungeon, so those really don't count. But whenever you are in a dungeon, you always get the orbment station. Now, there's a lot of talking here, and then after this overall scene, you end up facing a large uh, knight style enemy, which looks very familiar to one you will have seen from uh, Legends of Cold Steel 2, uh, one of the first boss battles you, you deal from uh, Cold Steel 2. Uh, Trails of Cold Steel 2, if you mean not Legends. Wait a second. Trails of Cold Steel 2. So, uh, be on uh, it'll, it'll be a quick and easy thing. Mana. I'll go over how to go and deal in with them, because if you mess this one up, you can and mana. will end up dying. Here is the Magic Knight. The very first thing you want to do as soon as you start this is now! activate your Brave Order and immediately activate the attack order that you have. Right. You want to try and hit him as often as possible with, with the attack order on. When his turn I comes up, you want to swap to the I got it. the defense order of Reigns. You only ha really have those two orders well. at this point in time. You will get more orders as, as, as the game goes on, and as you will have seen in the previous uh, uh, section or previous part of, of the prologue, there are uh, different brave orders for each other person. But for right now, down. you've only got Reen and you've only it's got Reen's two. So his two are the most basic and have the lowest overall increases. But because of their low cost, they are usually the most effective to be using majority of the time. As always, do not forget to go and scan your enemies, now. as it's very important to. Yeah. Uh, gain now. items and increase your overall ability in the game. It will make your life Leave easier. You're not going to scan everything that you can. Um, now, as you can see here, you can break the character, uh, and then once you do so, you, yeah, that's it's kind of down. it. That's kind it's of it. That's all there, there is to it. Uh, now, this right here, the enemy will, will enhance after breaking sometimes. Right. Once he enhances, immediately Four use Iron Will. Iron do will not formation. forget to do this. Do not forget to do this. Turn. Immediately use Iron Will the second after he enhances. You can and will die from too many hits from him. He gets stronger immediately afterwards. And then he immediately just starts my turn. just hitting you repeatedly over and over and over again. Do Get not back. take off Iron Will until he breaks. And then you can use uh, the increase in an attack break order. Or you can just ignore it. Whatever you will go upside. The point Please is, this. the the attacks will end My up killing turn. you, so you definitely want to, above everything else, keep your defense up. Uh, you can use whatever you, you feel you should use. As you can see here, you can see what he is and it's not uh, My turn. weak against. Uh, and as this is not an area with, with high magic, the All black, right. gold, and white magics will not show you if they are weak or not. Now as you can see here, I uh, broke him. And I still have Iron Will on just because I'm being stupid at this point in time. Leave it to me. So I end up wasting the precious time here. Let's go. And then I remember, oh yeah, Raging Fire is probably a good idea. I should probably do it now. Let's go. Oh, that's why I didn't do it before. I didn't have the points. Whatever. I'm up. Anyway, uh, upon killing him, it's down. as you should, uh, you, you can immediately move on to Chapter 1 where the game actually begins and you actually have to yeah. have two things. So... That's all really net, all you have to remember uh, for this one right here. You guys should not have a, an overall tough time as long as you follow those, those general rules. The enemy itself, while powerful, and you just have to remember that enemy bosses will very often enhance, Hostile and when they do so, you should, be, you should be prepared to go and counter that whenever possible. This has been Hentai Games with the Self Hispanic going over the prologue of Cold Steel 3, Trails of Cold Steel 3. From the Legend of Heroes game series, as always, if you guys like this show, like this this general walkthrough, give us a like, subscribe, and you know share our content as necessary. Up next will be Chapter One. Chapter One will be split up in different parts because Chapter One is the very first time where you will be doing everything, and there are a bunch of little tips and tricks we like to go put in there to make your life easier. So this has been Hentai Games. Peace out.